Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a new mock, and today's mock is an FAO Schwartz toy store from New York City. So this is a pretty cool mock in my opinion, it uses a lot of window pieces, and it's a toy store, and it's actually modeled off the real FAO Schwartz in New York City. I think it looks pretty similar, I made some minor changes, such as the sign and and the big toy soldiers up front and the roof part just to keep it a little bit more interesting because it looked pretty plain right now you're looking at the front of the building and this is where like the main entrance way to the building is and it's got the big FAO to let you know that you're shopping at FAO Schwartz and of course it has two toy soldiers at the very front because FAO Schwartz is actually known for their toy soldiers here is the right side of the mock you don't actually see any of the sides here on the actual mock like when you're in when it's in my city so though it doesn't really matter so I made it just so it looked good on the inside here's the very back of the mock this mock the, it, the back of it does look better again you don't really see it from the back ever but I did try and keep the color I kept the colors nice and here's just the windows because I wanted like the windows to flow all the way back and finally here's the last side the left side to the mock again you never see it that's why it doesn't look very attractive let's start off here at the ground floor as you can see, I have a big like red awning here with gold down the side. Here on each side, I also have a toy soldier, which are little micro builds, I guess you could call them, that I made. Here, you know, and this is what they look like from the side, and then they got the big head on, they've got two eyes and nose, and then their sleeves and their buttons on their sleeves. And then I just put them on a 4x4 plate, one on each side, just to look pretty cool, I think. Down in the middle here we have double doors, both glass. I tried other doors besides glass, but they just didn't look right with red handles. And then there's like little outline in here where the awning is. And then it's just all glass windows, except it's sort of hard to see down here just because there's so much going on here at the front. Moving on here to the middle of the building, there's the big FAO, and I think that looks pretty cool. And as well as there's four rows of windows here. On the bottom there's three, and then there's just four, five, six across four above lots of windows and it actually just looks really cool I like the FAO like down here at the bottom just because it's like really busy here and then really plain up here and I just think it adds like a nice balance here at the roof I've used lots of snot techniques studs not on top I put slopes all the way along the cross here I have these uh, modified plates here with like the little lip on them two this way and then one up as well as some studs here and some grill pieces and of course at the very top of the FAO Schwartz building is this really big mime green dome in transparent and that looks really cool no I don't think they have a big sky like like skylight like this in New York City but it just looks so cool the building's a bit shorter than some of the other buildings in my city just when I add this big skylight it just looks amazing and here at the rest of the buildings just this dark bluish gray some some dark gray because I didn't have enough and then it looks like maybe some air conditioning I don't know it's sort of gonna be hard to like show the inside of the building because unfortunately this build is not modular I did however design it easily so this part of the wall can be moved so you can see in the store as you can see this part of the wall is what looks like to be a Lego logo except they didn't really have enough black pieces so I just did the red white and yellow it doesn't look amazing but it also doesn't look terrible right now you're looking at the very front of the building from a minifigures point of view as you can see the doors open up here and you can just sort of see all the stuff that we've got going on inside and here is what the building looks from the side here up is just a uh, like a this whole stack of boxes and these are absolutely actually representing some snow because when I went to FAO Schwartz one of the big things they had was a guy displaying snow like so that like the display case is here and then the box is here off to this side here we have this little display case and I made these to look sort of like Lego creator the old Lego creator boxes they don't look very cool but they could be brick boxes or something like that but I just think they're kind of neat and they fit in these red shells and up above here we just have some cups with some lids on them don't really know what they are we have this little container here of water and it's actually representing some sailboats the remote control boats as you can see there's a boat and then a remote control there's three different ones to choose from the top one sort of hard to see because some of the wall decorations you can also see we have a really cool bookshelf with a lot of use of snot methods with some tiles on the front here on the very top we have some more bottles of that stuff that you can't hard to see hard to see because of the ceiling decorations and then at the very back we have a surfboard also included in this build I've included like this shark hanging from the ceiling just sort of swimming around 
I also built these stars, and they look like stars, and they're hanging from, like, one of Spider-Man's web pieces throughout the whole bottom floor ceiling. Right when you walk in the door, there's this treasure chest, and that treasure chest is actually full of jewels. Here's a better look at them in the inside of the toy store. As you can see, at the very, very, very back there, we have some NHL jerseys on a rack. We have a rock monster, and of course, we have the spiral staircase to get us upstairs. This is like a full picture of all the stuff you've seen so far, and I think I forgot to mention that the floors are all tiled with orange and yellow tiles the whole way around the bottom floor. And on the very back wall behind the staircase and all these merchandises hanging from the ceiling and in the store, we have a wall of posters. And by posters, they're just some printed tiles. Not very many, just a little bit. And as you can see, you, or as you can sort of see the very, from the very front of the building. So basically, the ground floor is all the places where you can buy stuff. And basically, the top floor is, I'm going to call, the entertainment area. Unfortunately, I didn't really build this upstairs to, you know, showcase it in a video, which I really should have. So I'm going to do my best in taking part of the wall out. And I successfully managed to do that without destroying too much of the mop. Right here at the very front, we have this gold pole, and this gold pole is actually holding up the entire spiral staircase. Right here is actually a really cool mural, which I'm gonna show you in a couple minutes. Here at the back is like another mural, which I really like this one. As you can see, there's a tree there, a horse there, a sun, and then some flowers, as well as a fence. And it just like looks like the horse is jumping and having a great day. Because if you've been to the real FAO Schwartz in NYC, you know that at the above, uh, the above floor, they have quite a few animal displays. And this is actually a close-up version of what that other mirror looks like. This, it goes on the wall like this, but it really looks like this. It's an alligator with a crab, and there's some plants and some rocks, and you know, they're just swimming. Above that, I also included some more poster printed pieces. And here's just a little look of what that mural actually looks like on the wall. And of course, the main attraction to FAO Schwartz in New York City is the big piano. The entire living walking space up here in the F NYC building, like in my mock, is the big piano. I made it as long as I could, as long as I thought it was cool, and as long as many with the one by two brown black bricks as I had. And as you can see, just trying to put a minifigure on it, it does look pretty cool. And there's a total of seven of the black bricks, so that's seven keys. But the piano is a lot bigger than this, and it's a bit longer. But I just think it looks really cool in minifigure scale. As well as on the very back wall of the FAO shorts, we have these two music notes. We have the one music note, and it's standing straight up. But then we have this other music note where it's just on a curve. Another neat thing I did was add the words the the piano to the very top floor on this nice little sign. Something that I was really experimenting on for this mock was of course lighting. This mock looks several days to complete and when I put it in my city I just thought it looked pretty dark and I just I needed to do something differently. So I rigged up a little lighting solution with some lighting parts that I had from a third party vendor. I placed the lights on the inside ceiling of this building and then just basically threw together this switch. The switch goes here, this is where I turn it on, when I click that in, and the wires just run under these tiles into the skylight and then under the ceiling. And now for the moment of truth, let's see how this lighting looks. This is what it looks like with the lighting on, and I'm thrilled. I really like it because it just it shows the glow, it shows some of the products on the inside, and I just think it looks really neat. So as you can see, this is what it looks like with the light on, but when I reach back here and turn them off, it's just pitch black so you can as you can tell it does really light up the mock and honestly from what I can see on my camera's monitor right now it doesn't look like it's capturing the full justice of this light because believe me this bottom part I don't know in the video because it could be differently this bottom part my monitor looks very very dark but here in real life I can perfectly see the tiles and it's just very very bright thank you so much for watching this mock video of my new FAO Schwartz Lego mock I'm very proud of this mock. This took me several hours to complete using a lot of new pieces I got from my Lego store haul, which can be found in the cards. But I just think this is a really neat mock and I'm really happy with how this mock turned out. Thank you so much for watching this Brick Lover 18 YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment on this video, as well as share the video with your friends. If you want to see more of my previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there featuring all the videos that I've uploaded so far. 
If you want to see more of my LEGO YouTube videos as I upload them, please click on the subscribe brick and you will subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to check out more Brick Lover 18 and LEGO related awesomeness, please check out www.bricklover18.com where you'll find the links to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, as well as my BrickLink store. Thanks for watching this Brick Lover 18 video. Stay tuned for all things LEGO by clicking that subscribe brick.